Hey, uh, welcome to a tutorial. It's um, this one's an update on my model rigging tutorial. Um, should have made this one a long time ago. Um, I realized I didn't make it, and I've been doing this method to model rig for quite some time now. So I might as well inform you guys. Um, before, when model rigging, it took a long time to weigh every single bone. Um, add uh, align things and animate an arm and then check to see if the arm was animated well enough exporting blah 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 whatever uh, method I'm about to show you uh, reduces that time considerably occasionally uh, depending on the model uh, it might almost be a perfect rig uh, it's like right off the bat uh, but don't expect that all the time. Expect uh, some work afterwards. Alright. So. I've already uh, set everything up really fast. As you can see, I have B Mario's model and Mario's model. So I'm going to put B Mario over regular Mario. Before when you were rigging you would take all of Mario, regular Mario's polygons and delete them. We're going to keep them this time around because it's important. So after you import your model and the model you're going to put it over scale everything down to size as you normally would do make sure everything's aligned perfectly especially the shoulders face and legs now I'm going to add two modifiers the first one is an edit mesh modifier. And the second one is the skin wrap modifier. Uh, previously you just added skin, this time it's skin wrap. Click add. And add all the polygons. Uh, it might freeze up. Actually, it's almost 100% so it'll freeze up. Uh, during that time, I don't know, you can like get a brownie and chips, you know, take a potato chip and eat it. Um, depending on how big your model is, it might take longer or shorter. So when importing a uh, model doing it this way, delete a bunch of unnecessary polygons. Because as you can see, this is only 10 polygons. Once I like 20 or 30, it can take quite a long time. Uh, it's a bunch of waiting. Pulling my thumbs, you know. Uh, Shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, when 3ds Max finally you can finally move stuff around in 3ds Max, that means it's done. And you also see all of the uh, polygons show up here. Uh, if it takes much longer, I'll probably just fast forward through this waiting process. Now, Doritos, brownies, chill out, wait. Once again, this is only 10 polygons. So, imagine if you had like 30, 40. It'll take forever.
All right, I paused. It took another like two minutes. Um, so, as you can see, all of the polygons are in. Just on click, scroll down. Make sure this weight all points uh, checkbox is checked, and click convert to skin. This warning may or may not pop up. Um, every model I've done, this has popped up. And there's an easy workaround for this. So, if this happens, delete your skin wrap modifier. And select each object individually. Add the skin wrap modifier. Add the polygons. Make sure it's only your model's polygons. And wait for it to load up again. Alright, that took about a minute. Uh, pause for your convenience. Now, once again, make sure this is checked and click Convert to Skin. Delete your Skin Wrap modifier and your Edit Mesh modifier. And to make it easier, uh, freeze your current selection. And the same thing with your next uh, polygon. So, once again, add the skin wrap modifier. Uh, add. Select all of uh, normal models polygons. And let them. Oh, that was fast. The um, convert to skin. Delete skin wrap. Delete that mesh. Now this can take a while, so I'm just going to. This is it completed. So now, just delete, after everything's completed, of course, delete your model. Uh, by the way, you should uh, have do that. Yeah. You shouldn't have deleted the bones. Uh, just as normal, you would export. Uh, Make sure all your settings are the same as before. Okay. Now save time again. I've already imported a model into Crawlbox. And load up an animation. As you can see, his, uh, I guess, stomach enlargement is not uh, well and whatnot. But otherwise, everything on his body is nice and rigged. Um, so some minor edits, like um, just removing vertex points so his uh, stomach isn't get pushed in. Um, his arms might need a little bit of uh, tension and his head. Um, sometimes 
it might be easier to do it the normal way. Uh, if you're, because you want your model to fit almost exactly over um, the vanilla model. If not, it causes, it's just more hassle. So this way is recommended. But if you're gonna want to put, I don't know, a really tall character over, I don't know, Ness, who's short, do it, just don't bother with this method, just try to, I wouldn't even recommend putting a tall character over a short character. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's the tutorial. Uh, next tutorial, I am going to go back to uh, Brawl X or X Brawl or whatever, the clone engine. And uh, then, F then, well, it's a clone engine series, so I guess multiple clone engine tutorials after that. Uh, so, any questions? Um, Ask them. I'll link you to the th uh, original thread um, for where this was posted. So, uh, have a jolly good day.